Hello, uh, fellow Logic Pro users. Uh, today we'll be taking a taking a look at the possibility to uh, use only stock instruments and plugins of Logic to use for composition. And uh, yeah, uh, in this case, I'm using it for film scoring. So. Yeah, let's take a listen. Dash, remember what Mom said? What? Hey, stop talking. Hold it, freeze! Dash, run! What? Run! Wait! Yeah, so that's it. So, uh, well, it, it cannot be compared to the uh, quality of, you know, of the uh, big uh, names in uh, libraries, so instrument libraries from Contact or whatever you use. So, yeah, uh, first of all, just a disclaimer, this uh, Incredibles movie or clip the clip is still owned by uh, Pixar Animation Studios and Disney uh, Disney company so yeah this is just used for this is just for uh, learning purposes okay and uh, yeah I've downloaded the uh, the clip from a Facebook group that I joined and uh, yeah I, I, I forgot the uh, I think it's a it's a group for a uh, film scoring uh, thing anyway uh, let's get started let's try to um, uh, to see what I did for uh, for the instruments but uh, first of all why why do you need why do you want to use the uh, logic uh, logic uh, stock instruments and plugins if you have already those high-end uh, libraries and plugins and effects and everything well uh, I've uh, list down some uh, reasons or possible things that you can why you're using uh, the stock plugins only so yeah let's try to look at it okay so first of all it's lightweight and fast yes definitely so uh, yeah if you use libraries it takes time to load takes maybe it will need a lot of uh, cpu power so yeah and uh, well if you are out of budget so if you just uh, can afford the logic itself logic uh, application itself yeah that, that's this is a good um, thing for you for us yes and yeah it's it's also good for demo so it cannot be compared to those big uh, libraries once again but uh, yeah just for demo just for the uh, director or producer need to listen what you're trying to do and uh, yeah that that can that can work it could work uh, but of course uh, if re they really want the you know as close as possible instrument uh, sound well, you, well, for example they want like a warm string or something then yeah you might need to you know pull up those libraries again 
but yeah just it's just good for demo so it's good for things like uh, just instant uh, listening to what you're trying to achieve like the uh, emotions and everything and uh, yeah you can also send the project to an editor so yeah uh, portability yeah definitely because you you don't need to for example you're in a friend's house and then you can edit on the fly in the airplane or in a friend's house who doesn't have the uh, all the libraries that you have so you can just uh, you know pull up the uh, logic in the in their computer and uh, yeah just edit it w w without having to worry about the uh, different it, uh, you know, the, it will. It might sound different because they're using other things, like uh, other libraries. Yeah, so th you will just use the same libraries as as he has. Okay. Anyway, uh, using yep. Uh, so exploration of the software's capacity and awesomeness. So yeah, it, it uh, we we can teach ourselves what can we do to make it more. Uh, to make logic work more for us rather than um, trying to find a expensive library to do the to do it to do the sound for us to good sound for us yeah all right let's 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 go let's now go to the uh, things so first of all uh, what did I do with the um, yeah, for the drums, I, I just pulled up the uh, producer kit. So yeah, um, so I just put the snare on the left. I, I just wanted to to be on the left. Uh, I'm I'm the uh, supposed to be the listener should be on the right, right? But anyway, whatever you want. So for the uh, yeah, I I pulled up another Brooklyn track here. This is another Blue Ridge kit, which is MIDI. And you know, just just to make sure, I can edit the uh, MIDI here. So this is the uh, you can edit the uh, automatic uh, drummer, but this one is MIDI. Anyway, uh, for the uh, organ, yeah, I think uh, I put some. Uh, uh, yeah, I I just needed to uh, put silver silver burb and everything, and uh, sample delay like that so uh, not to make it uh, like uh, so dry so I just uh, put a like a quarter so no yeah quarter of the uh, scent to silver verb so this is the Liverpool base um, yeah for the uh, thing that is uh, for the fast pace uh, jazz type of uh, um, music so yeah I, I just I've also pulled up some uh, bongo um, action remix bongo action from the loop uh, loop directory and uh, yeah for the uh, I, I've just also pulled up some uh, other bongos from midi bongos like that so that I can uh, just you know it's it's just one to tone uh, bongo from all the uh, from all the uh, keys or uh, it's the same tone but you uh, see I'm a pianist I can just make a trrr, trrr, like that it's, uh, you know <laughs> sorry uh, fast uh, playing of bongos uh, with one keys well I mean same key all, all throughout yeah uh yeah i have a telecaster which sounds like uh, the uh, you know old jo james bond type of uh, spy theme yeah so this telecaster is from the uh, sculpture so if I pull up this sculpture here, I uh, I just I just edited this one this key pickup spread. So I just made it a little wider. That's it. I just I just go went to the uh, to the to the uh, 
presets, plucked instruments, telecaster. So that's the that's the one I've used. And I don't usually edit, I just you know, I just pull it up and maybe tweak a little bit and that's it. So I just pan it on the left. And for the strings, I usually do my strings like uh, I've used the uh, Studio Strings new from 10.4. Mm. Yeah, I, I've used the King's Cross, uh, King's Cross uh, strings. So yeah, um, King's Cross, and I I I I did like. Uh, um, I did like the um, binaural uh, thing here. So if if the, you double click on this one, it's actually a binaural um, panning. So that I made the uh, I made all, I made the, my whole size like thir three meters. So all of them are in the same space. So I may I, I put the violin somewhere near in the middle like that. And uh, I've, I've also tried the guitar, the Telecaster, to put here somewhere here. But you know, you can try it. It's experimenting. So yeah, the Blue Ridge is uh, well. Um, it, it doesn't sound bad at all. So let's try to listen to this violin. And uh, yeah. Um, the violin so this one is um, I, I pulled up the uh, you know the uh, like articulation uh, I think it's a new form 10.3 or 10.4.3 so the articulation you, you don't need to be you can also use this in contact you can you don't need to use the uh, key switches to uh, trigger trigger um, articulation anymore so you just you just put the you just select a note and then you know you can select a art, an articulation on the uh, a piano roll on the left of the piano roll you will see the articulation thing uh, yeah but yeah in order to see the articulation articulation thing articulation uh, feature you just you, you need to uh, on the track um, track uh, um, track features or track uh, um, f uh, properties you just need to there is an there's track properties on the left if you put uh, if you uh, open the uh, information tab so you will see the information of each track on the left. Yeah, you you, you know that I I'm, I'm sure. So just pull down the uh, track uh, properties, and then you will see the articulation set. So you just need to click on that one. If it's not, if it's blank, you just need to choose from Logic, Studio Strings, and then you just pull up Studio Violins, and you will have those uh, violin articulations. So I have sustain staccato spiccato fall long fall short so l let me just so that's tri uh, trill semi semitone and staccato yeah that's a staccato sometimes it, you can you can uh, you know uh, right now these 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 notes i've i've used sustain so you can just use also staccato sorry yeah i think uh, spiccato also is nice Oh, sorry. Uh, you can just put that one in the trio. And the beauty of these studio strings is that you can also uh, like uh, combine the uh, combine the velocity and the mo um, expression control to you know to to vary. Um, Expressions like volume and you know express expressiveness of the instrument. So, if you click on the um, if you click on the King's Cross, if you open the King's Cross uh, instrument, you will see um, yeah dynamics via CC. But if you op it should be on, and then 
if you see this one dynamic control mode you, s you will see the velocity and controller relative i don't know what what relative and catch the difference of relative and catch but uh, control absolute you will just use the uh, control expression to control the uh, to control the uh, loudness or softness of sound but yeah y even if you have a 127 velocity you will not it will not have a soft it will still uh, yeah 127 or 10 it will still have the same uh, sound or loudness anyway i use this one so yeah uh, it's nice, uh, but it, it, it's it's a little difficult to uh, see. I mean, to to s you know to use, but uh, I think you just need to use it every time. Yeah, let me see if I have. Yeah, I definitely have a, an expression line here. So yeah, expression and uh, velocity they're you know working together. Yeah, so I can make it like this one though. Yeah. I'm not sure why it's not. Uh, ah, because it's. Uh, I think the uh, the priority is the velocity, so like that. Oh, hang on. Maybe I have a volume as well. Hang on just a sec. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I had a volume here. So if I need to um, just stop for a while the volume, then edit again. Hang on just a sec. So yeah, this should. It's not so bad. Yeah. Anyway, let's try to pull it down again. And let's try to do it here. And the uh, volume, let me just turn it on. Okay, that's the violin. I panned it to the binaural, panned it to the uh, left. Yeah. Okay doesn't sound bad at all it's it's nice it's it's cool so yeah violas yeah uh, I, I i've used accented accented sustain here accented uh, accented sustain and well you can try out spiccato yeah, it's nice also. Spiccato is nice, yeah. And there's so many articulation here. A screw fast, pizzicato, thrill semi, tremolo. So, yeah. Uh, I can make it, uh, yeah. Where is that? Uh, exempted sustain. Okay, so for the uh, cellos, let me see. Uh, let's try to solo the cello. Sorry. <laughs> It's just a double octave. Yeah, so I've used uh, staccato on this this one, and uh, yeah. a bunch of try try to so uh, yeah um okay double basses yeah i think uh yeah there is that uh, yeah, you know you can you can hear that um, bowing uh, thing grit sound of the bow to, it's not it's not bad it's not bad at all it's, it's it's i think it's awesome also can be you know can be compared to other libraries yeah let me see if i did like an expression i did not do expression here so what did i do 
Uh, oh, I don't have a like a. I think I did a volume here. No, I did not do also a volume. Hang on, let me see what. I should have expression here. So shows an expression. Here. I think it's just part of the uh hmm, that's strange. I don't even have a an articulation set. So let's see if we can find articulation, logic strings, double basses, and I think we can have a sustain here, yeah. I'm not sure why it's uh, like a little bit of the cres uh, crescendo, but yeah, it's nice. <laughs> okay, so let's try um, double bass. That's double bass. So let's go to brass. Um, yeah, by the way, the strings is just by its own. When you pull up the uh, King's Cross, it's already in a stack, like a, you know, stack. You can put effects in it everything so brass uh, I, I, I pull up the uh, stock brass like um, not the studio horns not from the studio horns yet so this brass is from the orchestral uh, live orchestral so if you choose you know I've chosen I've pulled up uh, four uh, uh, instruments uh, four instrument um, four instruments and then pulled up a trumpet horn French horn and then trombones and tuba tuba one by one so and uh, of course, um, I, I put them into a stack, summing stack, which uh, so that I can put some effects uh, sent uh, to them as a as a group. So what I did, I I put uh, put it to a the send one, which is a like you know large room, large chamber. So uh, I think it's just a room, and then. I'm not sure if I edited the uh, size, but yeah, uh, I think I put the high cut and everything, yeah, output like that. Yeah, so. Okay, so anyway, so that's it. And it's not so bad also, so trumpets this. So definitely the trumpet. I have some. Uh, I have some. Uh, yeah, expressions for for this brass. Hang on. Sorry. Wait, where are we? Hang on. Oh, we are already in this. Hang on. Let me see. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's trumpet for the French horn, I think. Yeah, by the way, the, the trumpet is on this location, minoral, three meters again. Yeah, and for the French horn, it's on this location, and planar, and then three meters. Yep. I, I like that those things like uh, harmony it's it's just a bunch of uh, minor minor progression in jumping in minor thirds minor chords and in minor thirds uh, progression so let's see where that is oh there you are here yeah so it's minor minor is it uh, yeah uh, it's minor yeah it's all of the minor and then they're moving in minor third anyway so it, but it's not bad it's definitely nice it's cool so 
Pardon me if, if uh, I mean, I, I just compose like this. Maybe it's not good for you, but yeah, I, I just uh, put everything. Maybe the mixing guy will just have to <laughs> try to mix so that they are okay, they are heard, they are heard together, properly balanced. So this uh, trombone, it's on the middle, yeah, three meters planar again. So, yeah, okay, yeah, the sound of the trombone is really majestic, so I like the sound of the trombone, and uh, yeah, so together, the brass, only the brass, let's try. So, um, below, just below the brass, I, I have a funk house here, which is the studio horns, came from the studio horns. So, yeah, so, you know, I'm playing chords for the funk house track, and then I'm playing harmony also in each of the region, or you see each of the uh, tracks. So this is trumpet, sorry, let me just make this uh, trombone one, hang on. So alto sax tenor sax there, okay? Not bad. This one's fun house, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I think I need to do the fun house there. Yeah, not bad. And uh, this alto sax, sorry. Just doubled by the tenor sax. It's a yeah, and uh, you can you know try to if they if you have a face thing, then you can just put them into different pan. I think is if you solo both of them. Let me see. Maybe from the other side. sorry uh, anyway so that's those are tr uh, there's also trumpet here and trombone if you load the uh, one instrument from the uh, studio horns it's, it's very dry so you just need to put some sending send them to same thing so bus one I've sent them to silver verb again and I've sent them to chroma verb on bus five, so chroma verb is concert hall. Just yeah, that's it. And uh, so that they sound nice and majestic. Yeah. And yeah. So those are the brass and woodwind. <laughs> I just have one one line. So stop talking. The clarinet. I think clarinet is nice also. So. Okay, so that's the clarinet and well timpani. So for the timpani, uh, I made it a little uh, b big, bigger sound wa by putting like uh, you know the uh, fat effects, bass drum fat. So I made it like uh, more on the low and the cutoff to something like this, not not too low on the cutoff. So that there is still a like a high f high pass, so bass enhancer warm yeah. I'm not sure why I, I did not turn off this one, but I think uh, you, you can just turn off these LFOs um, and try it. Yeah, uh, because if you turn it on, yeah, there, there is some some wobble and something. So 
yeah, you can just and you know you can free some CPU. Uh, so also I put some uh, um, you know EQ uh, the, the EQ I, I I bumped up the uh, this one so one like that and yeah so that's the timpani and this is the harp I just made I just made a uh, like a uh, whole tone scale and the tubular bell for the harp I made it also the uh, yeah, like this this is the uh, EQ and bus yeah I put it in the bus and tubular bell I put the tape delay so that it's wide and uh, yeah orchestral kit I just put the uh, this is the symbol yeah and this one is the yeah by the way uh, if I'm not uh, be able I'm not able to uh, do the fast uh, riffs and everything I usually use the uh, speed uh, speed uh, very speed feature of logic so I just turn on the very speed and then you know 30% minus <laughs> so like this see uh, <coughs> so so it's uh, yeah if it's turned on that that's the speed so make sure you use only speed only and then yeah this one. so this one is the normal speed okay and uh, yeah that's for uh, yeah my son is already awake sorry with that and uh, this drum I made it a little bigger also so um, yeah so if I yeah so the the channel EQ I've just bumped up like this and yeah like that and um, I think mix, mixing engineer will not tolerate the ones that they don't like that one and I put the fat again so like that and drum and the piano that's it okay so yeah I think uh, Hope you guys learned something from this video and um, see you soon please like and share this video for others to see also yeah you can subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you bye bye see you next time